Good morning, children. Today again we will continue the chapter. B my multiple I will be your factor. So far, children, you have learnt the definition of factor of a number. You have already learnt how to write all the factors for a given number. Today you are going to learn about the concept of common factors. Common factor, a number which is a factor of two or more numbers is called a common factor. So let us see. What do you mean by common factor through an example? Now you know 2 divides 4. The number 2 divides 4. It means 2 is a factor of 4. 2 also divides 6. So it means 2 is a factor of 6. So from here children you can say 2 is the common factor of 4 and 6. Now let us understand the concept of common factors through an example. Find the common factor of 10 and 15. Now our two given numbers is 10 and 15. For finding all the common factors of 10 and 15, first of all we will write all the factors of 10. So for finding, writing all the factors of 10, you will write all those pairs of numbers whose product will give you 10. 10, 1 10 is 10, 2 5 is 10. So from here children, you can write all the factors of 10. 1, 2, 5, 10. These are the factors of 10. 1, 2, 5, 10. Now we will write all the factors of 15. So, 1 times 15 will give you 15. And then 3 times 15 will give you 15. So, from here, 1, 3, 5 and 15. These are the factors of 15. So, in the first step, children, we have written the factors of 10. Then in the second step, we have written the factor of 15. Now, in the last step, we want to write all the factors of common factors of 10 and 15. For those, look, here the first factor is 1. Now, we will check 1 by 1. What are the common factors of these two numbers? 1, 1 is a factor of 10, 1 is a factor of 15. It means 1 is the common factor of 10 and 15. So, we will answer this number 1. Then look at the number 2. 2 is a factor of 10, but 2 is not a factor of 15. It means 2 is not the common factor. Then look for the next number 5. 5 is a factor of 10. And from here you will see 5 is a factor of 15 also. It means 5 is the common factor of both the numbers. So we will encircle it. Now look at the next number 10. 10 is a factor of 10. But from here you will see 10 is not a factor of 15. So it means now we are having two common factors. 1 and 5. So common factors of 10 and 15 are 1 and 5. Now children, we are going to learn about the concept of highest common factor. Highest common factor, in short form, we call it as HCF. H stands for highest, C stands for common and F stands for factor. So, the HCF of or more numbers is the highest of their common factors. So let us try to understand the meaning of this definition through an example. So our question is find the highest common factor of given numbers. Here children two numbers are given to you. These numbers are 24 and 27. We want to find out their HCF. But before that, first we will find out their factors, then common factors and then from the common factors, we will find out the highest common factor. So first of all, we are writing, the, we are writing all the factors of 24. So for writing all the factors of 24, we will write all those pairs of numbers whose product will be 24, 1, 24, are. 2 twelves are 3 8s are 4 6s So these are the pair of numbers whose product is 24. So from here you can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 
12 and 24. These are the factors of 24. So we are writing here 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. Now factors of 27. 1 times 27, 3 times 9. They will give us 27. 1, 3, 9, 27. So, now we will write the common factors. So, for this, look, this number 1 is a factor of 24, 1 is a factor of 27. So, from here you can say, 1 is the common factor of these two numbers. So, we are writing 1 here. Now, look at the number 2. 2 is a factor of 24, but 2 is not a factor of 27. So, it means 2 is not a common factor. Then look for the next number that is 3. 3 is a factor of 24. 3 is also a factor of 27. So we will answer the next. So 3 is the common factor of 24 and 27. Then look at the next number. 4 is a factor of 24. But 4 is not a factor of 27. 6. So 4 is not a common factor. 6. 6 is a factor of 24. But 6 is not a factor of 27. So again 6 is not a common factor. Now 8. 8 is a factor of 24 but 8 is not a factor of 27. So 8 is not a common factor. In the same way 12 and 24 they both are the factors of 24 but they are not the factors of 27. So it means 12 and 24 are both the common factors. Now we have written common factors of 24 and 27. There are two common factors 1 and 3. Now in the last step we want to write the highest common factor. Now in between these two common factors which is the highest number which is the greater number. So 3 is the greater number. So 3 is the LCF of 24 and 27. Now in the next part channel we are going to find out the LCF of Two numbers 16 and 20. So, so for this first of all we will find out the factors of 16. Then we will find out the factors of 20. Then we will find out their common factors. And then from the common factors we will find out the SCF. So let's start. Factors of 16. For writing, finding out the factors of 16. We will write all those pairs of numbers whose product will give you 16. 1 times 16. 2 times 8, then 4 times 4. 4 4 is a 16. So from here, children, you can say 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 are the factors of 16. Here, this number 4 is repeating, but we will write it only one time. So, factors of 16, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Now, we will write the factors of 20. Now, we will write all those pair of numbers whose product will give you 20. So, 1 times 20, 2 times 10, then 4 times 5. These are the factors of 20. So, from here, 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20 are the factors of 20. So, 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. These are the factors of 20. Now we will write their common factors. So from here children you will see this number 1 is a factor of 16. 1 is a factor of 20. It means 1 is the common factor. So we will answer it and we will write it here. Now 2 is a factor of 16. 2 is a factor of 20 also. So 2 is the common factor. Now 4 is a factor of 16, 4 is a factor of 20 also. So we will encircle it and write it here. So 4 is a common factor. Now this 8 is a factor of 16 but 8 is not a factor of 20. So 8 is not the common factor. Now this number 16, this is the factor of 16 but 16 is not a factor of 20. So it means 16 is not the common factor. So from here children you have seen these two numbers 16 and 20 they are having three common factors 1, 2 and 4. So now among these common factors which is the greatest number which is the highest number that is 4. 
So, 4 is the axial of 16 and 20. So, highest common factors means which is the highest or the greatest among common factors. So, here 4 is the common factor. So, I hope children with this you will be able to understand the uh, concept of common factors and highest common factors. Thank you and have a nice day.